I have to admit, I was quite nervous the morning I arrived at the Ivory Coast Embassy in Washington, D.C. As I was waiting for the initial review, I decided to walk around and enjoy the different pieces of arts that they had at the embassy. The anticipation of providing all the necessary documents, ensuring that they meet all the stringent requirements, and waiting for the decision can be anxiety-inducing. But just after three days of wait time, I received my visa and I was ready for Ivory Coast. Welcome back to Adventures. The flight from Accra to Abidjan is just about an hour and I took an Emirates flight that cost me about $150. And at 20, I landed at the International Airport Félix Oufouet-Boigny, named after Côte d'Ivoire, very first president, Félix Oufouet-Boigny. Guys, I didn't make it to Abidjan and I met a lady by the name of Ola. All right. We were sitting randomly, just chatting about different things. Comes to find out we're also sitting on the same place. Same row, 26. I was C, she was what, A, right? Yeah. And nobody in the middle. So it was a quick flight, one hour from Accra to Abidjan. So if you think about coming here, it's a very quick flight. Sorry, there's a bug on my face. It was very quick flight here from Accra. So. It's my first time in the country, but she's been here, like, how many times, you said? Three times. Three times. Three times. She said she has a boyfriend over here, so <gasps> she keeps coming. <laughs> I didn't say that. I know. No, I didn't say that. Okay. <laughs> you know, she has some friends. She has some friends. So she's going to be my guide over here, showing me some spots. But she doesn't speak French. How do you survive over here without French? Um, sign languages, sign languages, you know. Hi. Just, Is it you know. possible to survive Africa Coast without speaking French? Barely. Barely? Barely, yeah. So how do you do it? What's your secret? Find a friend, a very good one, that knows <laughs> the way, you know? And be at number two to that friend. Yeah. yeah. So you would say the vast majority of people don't speak English yeah. at all? Even when they speak, you almost laugh at them because wow. it's almost like, yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> they sound wow. really funny. Yeah. Coming from me, I don't even speak good English, but they sound really yeah. funny. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Wow. So Ola also has a YouTube channel. I'm going to put the link in the description, but yeah. give a shout out to your channel. Thank you guys so much. My name is Ola Ide and yeah, I'll be glad if you follow me. If you subscribe to me. Sorry, I'm too used to Instagram. Yeah, subscribe to me and yeah, let's be friends and get to know ourselves better. All right. What's your channel's name? My channel's name is Ola Ide Oluwale. All right. I'm going to write it down in the description. Yeah. Right below. All right, guys. So I'll give you an update once I get my bag. My phone is acting up. I don't have data once again <laughs> but a friend of a friend is picking me up at the airport and we will see so i'm in abidjan and most people think this is the capital of cote d'ivoire but it's not the capital is actually is actually yamosuko okay and i speak french so it was very uh, easy for me to plan to come over here this is a country i've always always wanted to come and visit it used to be known as the paris of africa so let's see what is so special about cote d'ivoire this is Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. The place is beautiful. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, you, you know? should see everything. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> and guys, they are the largest exporter of cocoa. Move over, Colombia. It's not you. It's Cote d'Ivoire, the largest in the world exporter of cocoa beans. What's used to make chocolate. So I really want to try the coffee here and the chocolate and see what it tastes like. And I'll let you guys know. So stay tuned. It's been what, uh, at least 20 minutes, at least, if not more. How, how much time do you think? Yeah, since we landed, minutes, yeah. Since we landed, right? Mm -hmm. That's why I don't like checking a bag. I always regret it. Every time. We are buried here in Luggage Kingdom. Look at this. Man. But our plane is the slowest. It was delayed. And now the luggage is taking forever. Traveling is not always fun. Especially when you have to get your luggage. And especially when you have to get your luggage. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So we're both on the same boat. Just waiting for a bag to get here. Yeah. Man. Oops. Look at the joy. The joy of getting your bag. I'm so happy. <laughs> now All we right. can go. Yeah. 
um, I have a question. What time you guys check in at the airport or uh, in, in JFK? JFK? Yeah. We came from Ghana. We, we came from, from Ghana. Oh, from, from Ghana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, bro. Yeah, I'm waiting for my suitcase all this time. Yeah. Yeah. You should check with them. Double check. We, we were waiting for a while as well. Yeah. I see my bag coming down. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be happy just like you here very soon. Thank you so much. It came from JFK? Yeah, he apparently came from New York. Okay. Yeah. What's uh, John Frank Kennedy Airport. Yeah. So we're getting both our bags at the same time. It took a while. It took a long while. Ah, Man. Finally. And now we're going to do this long thing. Oh my goodness. So there's more lines. Okay. All right. I got it. So let's go. Just going to show you guys um, a quick overview of this airport because a lot of people underestimate Africa this is a nice one actually it's fairly large a little messy out here but what do you expect from baggage claim right it's always a mess so what line, what line is this one? Oh, the duane or whatever that is customs yeah customs customs line yeah What's that? I've really been a star. Oh yeah, you're the star. You're the star. <laughs> you sit at the airport, and the lady sits next to you. You start talking. She's a YouTuber. Yeah. Going to the same destination. Sits yeah. on the same row. Yeah. Man, I told her she's my first subject out here. She's gonna be my first person to interview later on. So. I feel like these people are gonna tell me turn off that damn camera. So, let me yeah. cross this, and I catch you guys on the other side. So guys, here they check the bag and your boarding pass to make sure you're actually the right one with the bag. I've never seen that before. Yeah. Never. So you can't be taking somebody Someone else's, else's bag. bag. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> wow. That is really cool though. I've never seen that before. Never seen that before. So after you get your bag, they check your bag and now we have to go to customs. So it's a little process. Check your yeah, they're gonna check the bag one more time. Wow. So pack your, your patients in your suitcase and you come back here. A lot of it. Hello. Yeah. Is it the same thing in uh, in Nigeria? Yeah. Is it pretty it's slow same. when you get out? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Slow. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm at the last person. Still waiting in line to have our luggage scan. It's taking a little while. Sorry guys, but I want to show you guys the process. If you come here, you know what to expect. <laughs> Before the fun things, you gotta suffer first. Yeah. Yeah, really yeah, 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 hundred percent. Yeah. And there's people arguing behind us because somebody cut the line. You know? You hear that? Yes. So I said goodbye to my friend, and now my friend's cousin is picking me up. Here we are. Salut, mon frère. Ça va? Il va enchanté. Ouais. Je fais YouTube donc j'enregistre pas mal de choses. Ok. Mais j'ai besoin d'une carte SIM. Non, euh, e-SIM. Une carte e-SIM. Pas la carte physique. E-SIM, c'est pas pour ça. C'est pas pour ça. Venez ici. Venez ici. Ah, c'est bon. Laissez-moi voir ça. Je veux. Euh, parce que le téléphone que je ne prends pas de carte physique, il faut la carte électronique. E-SIM. Parce que je pense pas qu'on a ça ici. Vous n'avez pas ça encore du plan. Mais je suis dans les problèmes. So guys, I just withdrew some money here at the ATM machine. And I wanted to mention this because you understand the situation going on here. So Central African countries use the CFA franc. It's Benin, Guinea-Bissau, I believe. Yeah, 
and then uh, Cameroon, Ivory Coast, but the CFA franc bills don't look the same. So even though it's in French, franc CFA, the same currency, the bills are printed by two different central banks. So if you live in Ivory Coast and you want to go to Cameroon and you bring these bills here, even though they're technically the same, they will charge you a 30% fee. Same thing if you come from Cameroon and come over here in Ivory Coast and bring your Cameroonian CFA franc, you will get charged a 30% fee. That is how messed up it is currently, the situation here with the currency and frustrating and making uh, you know transactions much more complicated among neighboring countries. Let's continue to learn. Oh, I was gonna step out with my cash, guys. Let me put that away first. I was gonna step out with my cash money. Yeah. All right. I was. Alors, ton nom c'est quoi exactement? Guy. 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 Okay. Je suis. I'm with Guy, man. It's gonna be a little bit tough this time because I'm doing both French and English on this one. Guy on this prick. Tu parles seulement français, n'est-ce pas? Okay, we can switch to English when you're comfortable. Uh, <laughs> all right, so this is uh, Felix Ufwet Buani Airport. We are right outside, just stepped out. The ATM machine, very easy to use. I got my card back, I got my cash back. Everything is good. I see the beautiful Côte d'Ivoire flag, orange, white, and green. Oh man, this is a place I've always wanted to visit, man. Always. It's gonna be exciting. Are you from? Are you Cameroon or are you from Côte d'Ivoire? Where are you from exactly? Cameroon. 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 Come on, de Simon. Oh, so he's from Cameroon. He's from Cameroon. I thought he was like from Ivory Coast, but he's not. Simon, te dis, c'est mon cousin, c'est mon, c'est mon petit frère. Okay. So here we are. Here we are. Merci de m'avoir récupéré ici. C'est bien. Very large parking lot here. Very large. Right behind me is the airport. Important for people to see, people who may never come here or people are thinking about coming here. The first challenge that I see is the language barrier. But it is what it is. All right. With this iPhone, the latest one, the US versions do not take physical SIMs. And as a traveler, it's been a real pain in the butt. Because when you land in a place like this, most people don't use eSIMs yet. So now, either I don't get to use my phone, or I'm completely screwed, I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna go to a telephone company and try to see if they have eSIMs. If not, my phone is basically useless here. Thank you, Apple. Crazy, man. You need a second phone, I should have brought a second phone here. I wish I brought a second phone because it's so frustrating. Finally in the car with Mr. Guy. Yes. You say you speak French, I mean English, right? Small, yeah. A little bit? I speak, I speak English small. A little bit of English, okay. Yeah. Let me try to see how good his English is. Why did you come to Ivory Coast? Say what? Why did you come to? Why did you leave Cameroon to come here, to live here? Uh, because uh, from yes, he got uh, he got uh, fast Cameroon. From what? For yes, he got here. Mm -hmm. uh, for Cameroon, he got for like here. Je comprends pas. Il faut le dire en français. Il veut dire c'est mieux ici qu'au Cameroun. Oh, he said life is better here than in Cameroon. Okay. Uh, comment ça c'est mieux? Qu'est-ce qui rend uh, le pays plus intéressant? Il y a beaucoup d'ouverture. Et... Bon, il y, a, il y a, je veux dire au Cameroun il n'y a pas, il n'y a pas beaucoup de société, il n'y a pas de travail, il n'y a rien, il n'y a pas, il n'y a même pas de route. Yeah. Voilà. Yeah. Il n'y a même pas de vie. <laughs> He's saying in Cameroon there is a um, the, the the economy in Cameroon is really bad compared to Ivory Coast. It's hard to find a job, and even transportation, like basic roads, are still lacking. But here in Ivory Coast, things are significantly better compared to Cameroon. It pains me, guys, to talk about my birth country like this, but. I'm not here to sugarcoat anything, it's just the truth, you know. I, I want to report on my trips and I want to report on what I learned as I travel. I've never been here before. I'm from Cameroon and uh, it definitely 
has some issues like many other places and you do move where things are easier and better for you so that's why he decided to come out here so that's what the road looks like fresh outside right outside the the airport here beautiful trees man this is beautiful look at the roads wow I like this. Good, good hotel. Oh, that's a nice hotel? Yeah. Oh, the Radisson Blue, guys. That's Radisson the Radisson Blue. Blue. And the Onomo. Yeah. Oh, Onomo Hotel. Another one. Yeah. Wow. So right outside the airport, you have two very fancy hotels here. The Radisson Blue, really large location, and then the other one over there that you saw. All right. So now we're going in the city. First, he's taking me to um, a phone place so I can inquire about the SIM card and then I'm in the eSIM and then we're gonna go to my place he's gonna drop me off at my hotel I'm gonna use him for tours around here so he's gonna be speaking in French and I will translate you know as much as I can as we talk that's the challenge here in uh, Ivory Coast Cinq mille personnes. Cinq mille personnes. Ouais. Dans la salle là-bas. Ouais. Ok. Wow. Ils aiment pas encore inaugurer. Ils sont, yeah. ils sont en train de finir. So guys, that blue thing you see over there is gonna be for conferences. It's not open yet. They're still working on it. But you can already see, you know, it's beautiful. I was gonna say it looks like a pyramid, but the pyramid is like a triangle top, like a pointed top. This one is kind of round. But it's beautiful. Wow. About five thousand parking lots right there. They're gonna have. Man. All right. Oh, okay, there's a French military base right there. Okay. All right. Et euh, la nourriture, comment tu compares euh, la nourriture en Côte d'Ivoire par rapport au Cameroun? I'm asking him what's the difference between what he prefers between Cameroonian food and, and uh, food in Côte d'Ivoire. Le Cameroun par rapport à la nourriture, non, il n'y a pas. He said when it comes photo. to food, that's it, Cameroon wins that battle. All right. Man, I'm trying to find points with Cameroon, man. It's been tough. <laughs> so Cameroon gets the food. Okay, good, good. Tu sais que le Cameroun a près de 270 groupes ethniques. Yes. Et chaque groupe ethnique a au moins trois mains. Yes. So imagine, mm -hmm. il y a une variété énorme. Terrible. Almost 300 tribes in Cameroon, and each tribe has at least three specific dishes on its own. So you can imagine the diversity of the food. Yeah. Another hotel under construction. So this whole strip here, coming out of the airport, I mean, look, the roads are great. You know, the garden is manicured, taken care of, you know? So this is good. You know, you got nice, easy traffic here. It looks like, this is the rainy season. This is rainy season, so sometimes there's a little bit of puddle in the, water, in, in the road, but that's expected. Not as bad as, um, Places like Cartagena, for those of you who are familiar with Cartagena, Colombia, when it rains, man, oh boy. Oh yeah, they're doing a roundabout right there, under construction still. All right. Okay. Tu vois, on appelle là le quartier que tu vois avec les immeubles, ça c'est zone 4. Okay. C'est l'un des quartiers les plus chers de Côte d'Ivoire. Right in front of us is zone four, is one of the most expensive neighborhood in Ivory Coast right here. Okay. You can see that the Americans, the French, the Lebanese, in this zone. In any case, the level is very low. You can have an apartment. You can have a certain amount of French CFA. You can have an apartment. The minimum that you can have in an apartment is 700,000. It goes up to 2,500,000. Wow. Not a month. Okay. So to rent there, you need to have a minimum of 700,000 up to two, 2 million CFA francs. I'm not sure what the conversion is, but it's basically the expats neighborhood. It's mostly people who come from France, US, that are actually renting or own property, you know, in those buildings that you see right there. That are located right in the heart of the city, in the capital. Stuck in traffic in Abidjan. Alors c'est toujours euh, busy comme ça euh, à faire ouais, ouais, euh, euh, Oui, parce qu'il y a beaucoup de travaux en cours. D'accord. Tu sais qu'il y, y aura la canne en janvier, ce qui fait qu'il y a beaucoup de travaux qui sont en cours et ça oh, Ok. 
quand il pleut aussi, les Ivoiriens, ils n'aiment pas la pluie. Quand la pluie pleut net, chacun veut rentrer, donc du coup, ça coince. Ok. <laughs> ok. People here don't like rain, so when they see a little bit of like drizzling rain, they just want to go home. So there's also um, the African Soccer Cup that's going to be playing here. Uh, C'est quand la coupe déjà? En janvier. January. En janvier 2024. Yeah, so they're doing a lot of construction, so that's why there's even a lot more traffic as a result. And I see China Mall. Yeah. The Mall Chinois, right, right there. Okay. Et le plus grand mall de la ville? Uh, le mall Chinois. C'est le plus grand de la ville? Non. Okay. Le plus grand est au fond là-bas. Il en a au moins cinq tellement là. There is about five malls here in Ivory Coast. I mean in uh, Abidjan, in the city of Abidjan. Five different malls. They are all gigantesque like that. The plus grand? There is one plus grand. The other ones are medium. Medium, yes. Okay. So maybe I get to film a mall here. I'm not sure. Because people don't like cameras, man. I, uh, you want to film, they're like, stop, no, 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 don't. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> it's difficult sometimes to show you guys footage from what I see, but I'm doing the best I can. So I hope you've enjoyed just looking at the roads here. I have to say, this is amazing. Beautiful. I feel like I'm in Paris or something. Look. So just like in Europe, you know, you just charge this thing right here and you can go through. And uh, right in front of us is the easy pass that we call the you know, just the payment for the highway here. And they have the same thing, automated. Just like, just like in the United States or Europe, you just pay and then your car gets scanned and you go through. He hasn't charged his, so he's gonna pay manually for now. This reminds me of like Baltimore, Maryland or something. Tu as vu que j'ai payé ça parce que je suis fier de payer. Bien sûr. Je suis sûr que tu donnes à quelqu'un, ça va dans les bonnes mains. Oui. Mais au Cameroun, tu, tu sais pas où ça va. C'est vrai. Le gars met ça dans sa. Il a un petit sac là, il s'accroche là, il coupe les tickets, il coupe pour fabriquer partout. Oui, oui. Oh. <rire> Donc toi, le Cameroun, c'est fini. Hein. Non. Pas que c'est fini, mais c'est mon pays, mais je suis pas content, je suis pas comme ça. Oui. ça les choses évoluent. Oui. Je peux pas. Il n'y a pas de route, le gars, le comédien vient de mourir à cause de route, des bêtises, de route, de la This is what's left after a very tragic vehicle accident that took the life of famous Cameroonian comedian by the name of Cabaret Nanjip, who passed away on the national road number three in Cameroon. Mais si tu prends la route, il y a où ce que tu vas voir. C'est la même distance de on te fait en 1h42. Wow. Il fait 235 km. Tu fais en 1h42. Si tu, si tu veux parler, hein? ouais. parce qu'il y a une limitation de vitesse, sinon tu te fais en 1h30, tu as un valet, tout ça. Bien sûr. Voilà, ça c'est l'université au Fort Bani. Ok. Alright. Guys, that's the entrance of the university. Definitely gonna check that out while I'm here. Beautiful campus from what I see from here. Um, this is the rainy season, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get footage outside, but. I will, I will show you what I can show. So there's definitely a major difference between Cameroon and Ivory Coast. And why do we keep comparing? They're both former French colonies and both competitors when it comes to soccer. So there's a little bit of competition between both countries and it's great to see, I have to admit, you know, this country is really deserved so far from what I've seen. I understand why it's called the Paris of Africa. You know, the progress is really there. The, the, the building is clean. I mean, I don't even see a piece of paper on the floor here. Yeah, if your car breaks down, they also have highway assistance. Just like in Europe, you know, there were services that will come and pick you up, you know, right away. Since we've been riding, since you pick, he picked me up at the airport. I haven't gone through a single hole on the road, which, you know, is impressive, you know. They really invested on transportation here. So I want to emphasize that. You know you can rent a car here 
and drive without a problem. He's saying I booked a hotel in the second most expensive area in Abidjan. I'm curious to see it and I hope that I get some sun while I'm here so I can go outside and, and do a little walkthrough of the neighborhood. And look at the beautiful cars guys. They're not like destroyed, rough rides, you know, people have cars in really good condition, you know, a decent age. You have Toyotas. They're lying to you about Africa. They're telling you it's a forest, it's a jungle. People are living on top of trees. They're living next to lions. They're lying to you. Africa's looks nicer than many countries I've been to. Way nicer. Like it's not even close. They have the infrastructures, they have the roads, you know, the cars. Yeah. I'm gonna mention a lot of my friends watch, uh, go to Colombia. So I don't like to often compare them. But yeah, it is the cars are nicer, the roads are better, and the highways are completely finished as well. So that's why I want to reference Colombia because a lot of the people that I know who watch me, you know, go to Colombia often. So that's like a reference point. I'm going to a grocery store now so I can buy myself a bottle of wine and some water and juice. It's tough to film in Africa, guys. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. Oh, nice parking lot. So they have tamarind juice, mango juice. Uh, pineapple. Alright, so a bunch of different ones. So let me get a cart real quick. It's American. It's American, yes. And what's that? What's that? In fact, all the fast food. Yes, all the fast food. Okay. All the fast food. Burger King. Burger King, it's on Burger King. Mais il faudra que tu montes tu, tu, justement tous ces trucs là. Il faut pas faire la part à la plaire. Non, vous payez 9 francs. C'est pas grave. C'est vrai. Oh, tout ça aisle de vin ici. Ok. Guys, look at this. Beautiful aisle here. <laughs> A bunch of different options, man. And many of these are French wines. I'm not used to the franc, so I have to convert before I purchase something. <laughs> you know? 19,000 francs, these are big numbers. They make your boy nervous, man, these big numbers. 19,000. $30, okay, so that's $30. So now I have an idea about roughly where I want to be. Okay, all right. So six bucks, I mean uh, 6,000, so that's a Bordeaux. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that one. I like wine, but I don't buy expensive wines. I'm a very bottom of the barrel wines because I don't see much of a difference in the taste. Many times I don't. Verve Cloco, you guys are familiar with that one? Gentleman Jack, but it's cheap, Abidjan. But you pay the price of fish up there. Yes, but 30,000 francs, guys, for this bottle of Gentleman Jack. Just so you have an idea of how much we're looking at here. 30, thousand franc so that's fifty dollars let me know what do you guys think because you have to remember the cost of living and we are in africa right so 50 usd mais dis moi euh, la personne moyenne fait combien ici par mois personne moyenne comme salaire je peux pas je connais le smic mais pas oui le smic c'est comme 60 60 000 ok so the minimum income is sixty thousand Minimum income is 60,000. 60,000. So let me see. 60,000. $100. Par mois? That's the minimum income. So 
Yeah. Interesting. So you can imagine, this is not something that the average Joe will be able to purchase. <laughs> so this is small, 17,000. In many countries, you know, you know, I hate to beat up on my country so much, but we have problems sometimes alcohol is not regulated. So people buy alcohol that is, so you buy a bottle of like, let's say Jameson like this, but inside is not Jameson. You're drinking something else, right? But here you see everything is controlled. Everything is controlled. This country has really reached a really high standard. Shout out to Ivory Coast, man. I don't like the prices, they're killing me, but shout out to Ivory Coast, they've done a good job here. Wow, okay. Ce qui est bien ici, c'est de l'origine. L'origine. L'origine, ouais. D'accord. Tu es sûr de ce que tu payes. D'accord. Non, ça c'est bien. Ça c'est bien. Je veux, euh, je sais pas si c'est le Jack Daniels. Ouais, c'est là. Le Jack Daniels. C'est ça que je bois très souvent. Mais ça, c'est le plus petit. Là, il n'y a pas de prix. Un peu plus grand, 20 000. Oui. Avec un verre. Avec un verre. Ok, pourquoi pas. Pourquoi pas. Tu prends ça, si tu ne bois pas tout, je vais vais te donner. Je vais le reste. Toi, tu veux quoi Ah, maintenant Bien sûr, tu vas rentrer bon, non Ouais. Tu te prends une bouteille, tu es venu me prendre à l'aéroport. On paye. You pay a Cameroonian man with alcohol. So, this is my. Older brother here, so I'm paying him with alcohol. What do you want? Okay. Okay. Vas-y. Il y a pas de problème, mon gars. C'est la famille. Je vais me bordeaux à la dimension de ce que tu as pris là. Okay. Il y a pas de problème. Pas de problème. So you can see you have everything ranging from 8,000 francs, 9,000 francs, 32,000 francs. The one he picked up right there is 6,000 francs. Coca et croissant et c'est tout. I know somebody may think this, this content is boring, but it's just to show you guys an African grocery store. In the city that's known to be the, the Paris of uh, Central Africa. Ah oui, 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 c'est ça. Ça, je peux faire prendre... Zéro sucre. Oui, zéro sucre, mieux. Uh-huh. Coca Cola, c'est bon. Tu prends, euh, voilà, trois comme ça pour commencer, c'est bon, sans abuser. Voilà quoi, croissant. Et croissant. Voilà. Could not get my croissant until I paid over there because the bakery is on a separate section. So it was 36,000 francs. All right. Oh boy. Woo. Woo, woo, woo. Croissant, croissant, croissant. I love this. This is good stuff. All right. It smells so good, man. Hello, <laughs> say, um, say, quel genre de crêpe, um, Nati? Nutella. Nutella, c'est bon. Tu veux pas, toi? No, okay. Tant que toi, tu as ta bouteille de vin, c'est bon. Voilà. Voilà. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow. D'accord. Oui, donc... Euh, ça, c'est quel appareil C'est le, le GoPro. 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 C'est une caméra juste, une caméra d'action. Ah. Et j'ai une chaîne YouTube, donc euh, c'est parfait pour faire euh, des vidéos de ce genre. Quand tu marches, ben, ça stabilise l'image et tout et tout et tout. Ah, ouais. Tu n'as jamais vu une avant non. Non. Ça, Il faut en ajouter, tu fais du vlog. Hein. Non, c'est cool. Je vais voir comment elle prépare ma crêpe. Pour ceux qui ne savent pas. Mais ça c'était pour euh, quelqu'un d'autre ou bien Non, on oh, fait non. Et, puis on met dans la et pour changer, ok, d'accord. Très bien. Mmh, mmh, mmh. Déjà on fait 4 ou 2. Deux. 2 c'est bon. 2 c'est bon, merci. On m'a les propres. Oui, oui, oui. C'est 4 ou 4. Ouais. Je vais te donner ma chaîne YouTube, comme ça tu vas voir euh, ce que je filme souvent. Parce que tu vas être featured dedans et elle aussi. I'm gonna get more subscribers from these people here. More subscribers. <laughs> All right. I picked up some croissants. She made me two delicious sweet crepes. And I'm ready to go home and relax on my first day in Abidjan. Merci. Merci. A plus tard. Ciao, ciao. Amazing, amazing. Let's go. Still raining out here. And they escort you with an umbrella when you come out here. You see this? They escort you. Huh? Do you get an umbrella escort in your city when you go grocery shopping? Do you get an umbrella escort? Now that's some prime time customer service right there. <laughs>
I didn't get it though, but it's available. All right, so this is where we are. The name of this grocery store is called Casino, and they have the same one in Cameroon, in Yaoundé, Casino. All right. Man, and they even offload things off your car to put in the car for you. Wow. That's nice. That is nice, man. Boom. Oh, man. Salut, mon frère, ça va? Ouais, ouais, ouais. Man. Okay. Let's go.